Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel TKF Electronics. I hope you all are doing fine friends. Well friends, uh, uh, thank you very much for your email, WhatsApp messages and uh, suggestions and comments. And a uh, few of my viewers are complaining that I am not replying their emails. So friends, as much as possible, I am trying to give reply to each and every email viewers uh, whenever I am getting time. So anyway, if not, then I will try my best to uh, reply you. So well, friend, today I have received a, a one parcel from Indo MP. So let's check what is inside. Me. So friends, these are the JBL X2 speaker, see VRX, this is the one model, VRX918 SP model. So this has came from Indoor MP, so this two. So here it is mentioned power is not coming, power nahi aa raha hai like that, you know. Uh, this is written in Hindi and this is written in English, power nahi aa raha hai and power is not coming. So I, I don't know they have not mentioned anything over here. So two JBL active speaker scheme for repair. So model is VRX918 SP. These are the two. So we'll try to try to repair it one by one. So guys, uh, high power uh, subwoofer active speaker. So let's. Uh, uh, start uh, working on this so first we'll start working on the power is not coming so we'll check this first just keep watching my video guys so guys we'll check this first so remove this sticker no image of stickers so we'll put the input power and check put it on put it on and it becomes in the I am checking in series so see there is no light at all so this return power is not coming so if there is a power the light should on here power light so it is not getting on so now what we will do without wasting our time just to remove one one screw here and here so we will take it out this one okay guys so we will check inside so put it off first Here the drag it driver is badly burned. Let's see, I'll show you. See, this AC is badly burned here. This is, this is the gate driver I see. And below of this, there are two MOSFETs. I think when this is badly burned, MOSFET also. I'm sure this two MOSFET, the gate driver MOSFET, both is also shorted. Okay. So this is uh, gate driver I see, very badly burn. We need to take this board, complete board out now. We need to take to replace this IC. We can replace it from the top, but to replace this two MOSFET, we need to take this whole board. We need to take out. So what we'll do now? We'll remove this screw one, two, three. These all plenty of screws are there. So we need to remove this all one. Then the board will come out. So just keep watching my video, guys. Hmm. And also, see, this is SMD, this is the main IC, 7380, and this is the other two MOSFET, this is the gate driver IC, this is two gate uh, MOSFET, inches in MOSFET, and also see the transistors also burn badly, see you can see, both here also, see here, yes, see there is the top portion only it gone. See 
guys so now we need to replace this ic and transistors and mosfets you know all these things so it is battery burn over here you can see this is a mosfet it's burn so for changing the mosfet we need to take it out completely because the smd ic we can change from the top smd ic and smd transistors but for the mosfet to replace mosfet with the new one we need to bolt whole bolt so that we can replace that to mosfet faulty mosfet with the new one so we'll check the mosfet also how is the condition of the mosfet I think it is badly shorted. I kept on budget at the same diode range. So guys, mass fit is already gone. Showing some ohms. See, 1.8 kilo ohms. It is shorted. This is open. See this is open, this is shorted. So we'll replace this MOSFET, this two MOSFET and uh, we'll replace this SMD IC with two transistors, two to four transistors. So just keep watching my video guys. We'll try to desolder this one and we'll replace with a new one. It should be like this. I clean everything. So now we'll remove the MOSFET from the back. Because of this IC and MOSFET, all surrounding parts also burn. So we need to replace this all. Guys, condition MOSFET condition C very badly burned. Yeah, GB20 OB60 PD1 very badly burned. See this much parts burned. So guys, now we'll look for new parts. So first we'll fix the MOSFET so that we can easy for to work over here. So we'll fix the MOSFET first. So guys, these are all the faulty parts. So I got the new part with me. It's the new part. This is the faulty, this is the new. So two MOSFET, one IC, two resistor, this has resistor, four resistor and four transistor. In this two PN.
so we have fixed all defective parts my friend so let's see if you want see we have fixed IC we have fixed IC two transistor two transistor here resistor one resistor here one resistor here one resistor here two MOSFET in channel both MOSFET so now just clean it So we'll clean this one first, then we'll put it on and check. So guys, after cleaning, I have cleaned this completely. Okay. So it's perfect now. So what we'll do now, we'll fix it back, take back all the screw and we'll put it on and check. Okay guys, so we have fixed all the new, all the defective parts, we have fixed all these defective parts with the new one in the power supply section. This is the main gate driver I see, two MOSFETs, but this is the main switching uh, section. So now we'll fix it by all the screw and we'll put it on now and check. Just keep watching my video guys, till end. So guys, I have already fixed everything. So it's nine time to check. So we'll check this one now. So we'll check now. So it's time to we should get light. So I'll put it on now. Put it on. See how it comes. So guys, it's working. See. So if we give some input signal, we'll check the input signal also. So power comes, it means our system is okay now. So we'll apply as input signal, just check the signal over here. So guys, we'll give the input signal. See, signal also come. Signal also come, you can see. See guys. So power also good. So it means our power supply is good so we have replaced we have replaced in this uh, gate driver IC and two in channel MOSFET and some uh, SMD registers which, which is burned some SMD registers and transistors so we rectified all these things thank you very much for watching my video guys take care see you very soon next video bye